Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Triangle Strategy and uh, we have a choice on our hands, um, but who cares? We're going to the encampment. We're going to do a mental battle today. It's time. Um, also, since we technically moved into Chapter 13, we may have unlocked some new things. And we have... Rosellan Uprising. Saintly Seven. Rosellia River Ships. Beagle's Nature Records Part 2, Nature Records Part 3, and The State of the Grand Norzellian Mines. Also, path traveled. We haven't looked at this in a while, but this is where we're at, so this is the path we've traveled. All of this. So many branches. Okay, Beagle's Nature Records Part 2. In the northern reaches of the realm lie the Norzellian Mountains. They are the source of the Norzellia River, and the blizzards surrounding their ice and snow-covered peaks prevent any from passing through. The summit is a harsh place where not even birds dare fly. Beneath the ground, however, run veins rich in iron, copper, silver, and more. The people of Esfrost eventually managed to reach these veins and open several mines. Prospectors looking for iron deposits should first seek out the alpine plant known as ferrum weed. Tiny red flowers sprout upon this weed's black leaves, and the plant itself can only be found in areas rich in iron. Red and black, the colors of the Grand Duchy, are said to represent fire and iron, but may also stand for the colors of ferrum weed. The Norzellian Mountains are also a major habitat of great hawks. Great hawks, both intelligent and large enough to carry a rider upon their backs, were once known to nest all across the realm, but are now rarely seen outside the mountains. Due to the difficulties of artificial breeding, these mountains are considered a very valuable place to hawk riders and any who use birds when sending missives. Beagle's Nature Records Part 3 in the east sprawls a barren desert wasteland known as the Hyzantian Sands, home of the source. A tributary to, of the Norzellian River runs through the area, but its waters are no match for the desert's soaring temperatures and harsh sunlight. At night, however, temperatures sink below freezing. Aside from Hyzant's capital, developed around the source in the western part of the sands, the area is entirely unsuitable for living. Several small oases dot the depths of the sands, and herds of wild horses gather around these watering holes. They are robust creatures, having lived in the desert's harsh conditions, which makes them a perfect fit for any army's cavalry. Nations are willing to pay a high price for these horses. The famed Byzantium cavalry's horses were also taken from the sands. Many attempts have been made to reach the ends of the sands over the course of time, but none have, su have succeeded. Although countless people enter the desert in search of adventure or riches, few return. Delving into the Hyzantian sands is not a matter to be taken lightly. One must be willing to risk their very life when stepping foot into the wilderness. The Rosellan Uprising The source is said to be holy ground in Hyzant, and a place where the Rosell atone for the sins of their ancestors. It is also the origin of the realm salt, but its limited access makes it nearly impossible for anyone to see what truly goes on inside. However, during the midst of the Salt Iron War, the Rozelle rebelled against the Holy State and escaped, leaving behind a scar upon the goddess statue, or so the story goes. Aizan has never made an official statement regarding the incident. Even so, investigations have shown that a group of Rozelle were spotted near the citadel of the Sands and the Wolf or Tamain at that time. It is also an open secret that a Rozellan village stands deep within the current Wolf or Tamain. Around the same time, Lady Orlea was also welcomed to Ironstone as a concubine of the previous Archduke Zygmunt. The Archduke never revealed Lady Orlea's origins, much to the disappointment of his chief vassals, but the occurrence of these incidents is much too great a coincidence to ignore. But those are problems of the past. What is important is the fact that the Roselle at the source possess the power to shake Hyzant. If we were able to harness that power, our nation would be in a most favorable position. Okay, the Saintly Seven. The Saintly Seven, headed by the Hierophant, are the leaders of Hyzant. 
They are responsible for aiding the Hierophant Oracle of the Goddess and guiding the Holy Stays faithful. In addition, each saint is responsible for an important division and acts as a minister in other nations. However, all are equal in the eyes of the Goddess, including the saintly seven. It is therefore strictly forbidden for anyone to pursue their own personal interests. The saints who serve the Hierophant are as follows. Sorcely N, Minister of Salt, Overseer of the Source. Not anymore, my friend. Exam, Marshal, Minister of Arms, Master of Military Matters. Kamzel Ferrant, Minister of Domestic Affairs, Protector of Public Order. Edor Delmira, Minister of Religion. Lila Viscroft, Minister of Medicine. Tenebris Mistel, Vice Minister of Religion, Keeper of the Goddess's History. Kank, Norzelia River Ships. The Norzelia River, which runs through the three nations, is an integral part of the realm's trade and military affairs. In the Kingdom of Glenbrook, built upon the riverbank, boats are a popular, are a popular mode of transportation, and cargo ships are, freak, are a frequent sight. The holy state of Hyzant also has many large shipping vessels for their prospering salt trade. While it is impossible to go upstream with paddles and sails, it is not uncommon to see people or horses towing a boat from the shore in the rapids. In S. Frost ships are necessary not only for cargo, but their military as well. Their warships are clad in iron armor and are skilled at navigating even the river rapids. Their naval fleet and black iron strike fear into the hearts of any who dare stand against them. That makes me almost want to go with the option that blows up the ship. Yeah, maybe? The State of the Grand Norzellian Mines the Grand Norzellian Mines were meant to be a symbol of peace between the three nations of the realm. A grand ceremony was held to commemorate the occasion and everyone anticipated a new era of peace coming to the land. However, the people's expectations were betrayed when Esfrost invaded Glenbrook. Though the Grand Duchy claims that the Kingdom of Glenbrook, Glenbrook attempted to take the mines for themselves, the mines are currently occupied by Esfrost, and the truth remains in the dark. I risked my very life to ascertain the current state of the mines for myself. The Grand Norzellian Mines are kept under strict watch by the Esfrosty Army, making it difficult to even approach. I ventured as close as I possibly could and confirmed that the mines are indeed under operation. Numerous large carts come and go from the mines and take the mountain path towards the Grand Duchy. The carts are all covered, but I surmise they are filled with excavated iron. Wrong. It's salt. Salt rock. I tried to get closer, but was unfortunately seen by Esfrosty soldiers who loosed arrows at me without warning. Thankfully, I managed to escape with merely a scratch and quickly withdrew, fearing for my life. In the end, I could not discern the truth of what was happening at the Grand Norzellian Mines, but I can confirm that the mines are in operation and an odd air of tension blankets the place. But just what does this mean? What indeed? Okay. And look at that, we unlocked another one as well. So we're gonna do the Chaos of Battle. The battlefield is a place of chaos with friend and foe fighting for their lives. Regroup your forces and fail the enemy within the time limit. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have our people spread out at the abandoned village. Let's go. Okay. So, chaos of battle. Need that for my notes. All right, now let's take a look at what we got here. Ooh boy, interesting. Is this the first time I've ever seen a treasure chest on a map? There's many of them. Wow, okay. For the honor of House Wolfort. And now, to battle! Understood. As you command. And now, to arms! I can do. I won't let you down. If I need you. I am ready. Excellent. I, I'll do my honor is mine. Okay, so looks like Azana might be one of the ones that's being left out right now. When it comes to our main group, it looks like it's just Azana. 
Okay, cool. I'm gonna try it with that group. Seems like it's gonna be hard. <laughs> and because we're on a timer, um, we have to be very mindful of that in regards to picking up treasure chests as well. I don't know what the timer is gonna be. Let's uh, check the uh, uh, overview. So run out of time. Uh, we have 75 turns it looks like, okay. Treasure chests are scattered about the battlefield. Stand next to a chest to open it. Five of them? Some items found in chests can be used during this battle. Huh. Okay. That seems like an interesting clue. Go then. I'll send you flying. Time to work. that second I won't lose <laughs> you don't stand a chance House Wolfort. Arranged ice stone. Okay, so that kind of gives us a clue as to what type of thing we're going to find. I shall try my level best. So it's a chance to act twice on the next turn. Preparation is key. Time to work. Ha! Sound strike. Yeah. Victory is within reach. I'm being too aggressive. Uh. Allow me. Nice, it missed. Ah. You won't beat me! Okay, that one didn't stick either. Push on through!
It's time. <sighs> Perfect. Time to take action. It's not a great spot to be in, honestly. Take this. The hunt is on. Focus. Damn, it's not enough to kill. Thought it would be. So much poison. For the honor of House Wolfork. Now I end this. Haha! Time to take action. Let's do this! Your judgment is sound. I shall try my level best. This will serve well. I picked the wrong one. I did the twofold instead of now. I meant to do now. Looks like I'm up. Ah. I 
Don't feel well. Yeah, I meant to give him the turn so he could come at her, at this guy. Allow me. That was my bad. Well, at least he'll be able to attack maybe twice this next turn. I've been waiting for this. Okay, this isn't a good position to be in. Should have thought about that position a little better. I don't really have turns to waste on shit like this. still be able to do Hawk Dive, but... Damn. What now? Fuck, man. This sucks. I'm stuck. Ha! God damn it. Fuck you, bro. Fuck you. She's gonna die. It's over. I won't lose. Did you see that? Time to take flight. Oh, it's not now even enough to I kill. That's upsetting. I feel like we're always just short. Okay, we're, we're almost certainly gonna lose this one. No! There is no mercy on the battlefield. Let us reverse Let's our lie. fortunes. Whatever it takes. Take that! Yeah. Positioning across the board was real shitty. The people who were over here should not be over here. We should put them in a different place. Out of my way! I don't feel well. Thank you. Okay, by Anna. Bennett. Dick. Ha! Oh, it 
comes to battle. Sorry! He's gone. Setting a poor example. My turn. This is it. You don't stand a chance. That seemed to work. Time to take action. You're finished! I... don't feel well. I'm behind you. Thank you. Everybody's poisoned. Gotcha. I'll give it my best. results Damn. this is it did you see that my strategy is just as I planned smart none of them landed Carefully. Now I end. Time to take flight. This ends now. Glenbrook. <laughs> In your hands. I don't know why in my mind I thought he would go for uh, Yen's there. <laughs> there is of course no he would do that. On the it's the only here. thing that makes sense. It is time to strike. That's a big help. For the future of House Wolford. I'll take it from here. Follow my lead, just as I planned. Shall we begin? Victory goes to the quick. I'll be of whatever service I can. Ideal. Ah! 
Come on! Gotcha! So it comes to battle. This is my way of doing things! Here I come! Try this! The situation is grim. Lang won't matter. Ah! Whatever it takes. Oh, you son of a bitch. Why did it default to that? Are you fucking kidding me? Enough. Okay, yep, we, we lost. mustn't lose heart. That guaranteed it. Thought we had a chance for a second there, but with Sarah and I, I going down, nobody else is close victory. enough. You were overconfident. Then with that screw up with uh Julia. This can't be me too. Time to die. We're gonna be real close, but we're not gonna make it. Until it comes to battle. chance if she can get close enough to him in these 16 turns I'll take it from here you're finished all right we might actually make it come towards us there is no mercy on the battlefield All for victory. I feel like I can do anything. Cool heads shall prevail. Allow me. I'll give it my best. What do we think? Probably gonna shoot and run away. This is my way of doing I things. I don't really know if the AI knows about the traps or not, you know what I mean? Sometimes it feels like they do know, and other times it feels like they this don't. Ain't ideal. Shadow Stitching can do it. Take aim. Okay, we didn't pick up a lot of spoils. But that's okay. Okay, got one of them done. Oh, 
Oh, you have ranged now. They're expensive. They're really expensive. How much would six of these cost? Okay, I think that it was something... I remember I was looking at something that cost six quality fiber on you. What was it? It was that one, I think. Grants one TP when you defeat an enemy. That could be really valuable for her. She ends up killing quite a few enemies with her attacks, and sometimes it's more than one. And granting her anything that grants her extra TP is really good for a mage, I feel like. It's pricey, but I think I want it. I want these too, but... Only need 10 of them to get one of those. I don't know, I just feel like this is really valuable. Pair it with this, it'd be really valuable too, but that's expensive. Okay. Okay. With that. It's time for us to start making some decisions. Let's do a quick save. go and talk to people in town. I heard that Elfric is still in development and only a few people are privy to its details. According to the rumors, its blast could blow a hole straight through a castle wall. Could we really use such a thing in battle? Elfric is still in development? Are they hoping to use this battle to test its powers? There's a chance we're exposing the people to greater danger than we thought. We must consider its placement very carefully. So there could be like a situation where like it kind of like works like an actual nuke, right? Where it has radiation, which could affect the town poorly. So once again, I'm leaning towards blowing up the ship because that's away from everybody else. Doesn't affect the townspeople too much. Yeah. So, blowing up the warship and sneaking in at night. I think that's the option we might be leaning towards right now. Lord Serenoa, you've been out and about quite often lately. Is something amiss? I can't help but notice the comings and goings of Hyzant soldiers, too. Something about it bodes ill. Lord Serenoa, we've returned from scouting the capital. The Crown City is teeming with us frosty soldiers, and it appears that a second force led by General Evlora is defending Whiteholm Castle. So, S. Frost has soldiers stationed throughout the city and around the castle, the latter led by General Evlora, no less. I doubt a full frontal attack would work to our favor. This is definitely worth considering when making our strategy. So, we got that scene with Evlora and stuff, and Evlora's gonna be defending the castle. I'm trying to think if there's an option that we won't end up fighting Evlora with. I suppose blowing up the... Blowing up the, the bridge... Would mean that Evlora is maybe stuck inside? And that means that she wouldn't be in the fight which I think would bode well for us, because then we could parlay with them and find out that Evlora is ready to turn. Oh, man, now I'm starting to think that that might be the better option. Hmm, okay. That might be the better option, because the, um, I feel like with the sneaking in one, we might end up killing Evlora. And knowing where her loyalties lie right now, I don't know if that's our best option. Um... It's, it's hard to say for sure what our, what's going to happen, but... Huh. Yeah, I don't know. The Occupied Crown City. 
Lord Serenoa, I shall accompany you wherever you go. I'm sure my knowledge of Elfric will be of great service to you. My lord, how is your father doing? The people are worried. We haven't heard any tidings of his health for some time now. My father's name carries great weight, even now. There's no way we would lose him. Not when we need him most. I hope that's true. The previous Archduke and the Saints of old revered your father, and with good reason. Even the late King Ragna trusted Lord Simon deeply and treated him as one would a close friend. I remember the two of them frequenting the tavern in their youth, drinking ale until the morning sun. I had no idea. But you're one of the saintly seven now, Lord Sereno. I dare say your accomplishments rival those of your father's. We look forward to seeing what lies ahead for you. I'm sure Lord Simon would say the same. Thank you. Neither my father nor I could ask for a better people. My uncle's a soldier, but he's always busy these days. I haven't been able to talk to him at all. How can I be of service today? Got any medals for me? Wouldn't that be awesome? Oh, look at this. These are new. I haven't seen these yet. Large ranged windstones and stuff. Okay. Now he also has extra large HP recovery pellets. I want them all, but we don't have a lot of money to work with here, so I think we're going to have to pass. Okay, pet the cat. After the duchy made their declaration, the holy state stopped shipping salt. Merchants can no longer trade salt in the capital, either. Since the fall of houses, Falks, and Telior, many of their people have fled here to Wolfort, and refugees from the Crown City have also come to live within our domain. It is not uncommon to hear of fights breaking out between them and the people of Wolfort. What should we do, my lord? These people have nowhere else to go. We will accept them with open arms and deal with the consequences. Very well, my lord, but I should warn you that our domain resources will soon run dry, and the people's discontent continues to grow. I understand, but before either of those reach their limit, I shall bring Esfrost to its knees. Understood, my lord. Leave the issue of the refugees to us. Ooh, very nice. A black anklet. What do we think that does? Oh yeah, we got that resurrection earring too. A black anklet increases strength, magic attack, physical defense, and magic defense, but deals damage to you at the start of your turn. Huh. It's kind of a big bonus though. I mean, look at that. Strength 24 to 27, 22 to 25. Yeah, all of them are three. Three bonuses to each. I wonder how that would pair with the red anklet. Or the bangle of vitality, I mean. <laughs> you put both of them on. Maybe they cancel each other out? It really depends on uh, whether or not they're equal and how much they take and how much they give. Something to think about. We might try that out. My niece came back from the Crown City. She said there are more as frosty soldiers than ever now. Roland's Wanted poster. What is that doing here? Why is it up in our town? By order of the Archduke, I, Gustadolf Esfrost, Archduke of the Grand Duchy of Esfrost, hereby order the arrest of His Royal Highness Prince Roland of the Kingdom of Glenbrook. The prince is 20 years of age, gold of hair and blue of eye. He has in his possession a ring bearing the insignia of the royal family. Whomsoever captures the prince and delivers him to duchy officials unharmed will be rewarded with a sum of $100,000.
Yes, they use dollars. My reserves are still stocked, but I do not know how long that will last. The duchy's trade embargo has me worried, to say the least. The soldiers look like they're preparing for something. There's another big battle on the horizon. The Byzantine soldiers that were bringing relief supplies look like they're readying for war too. The scouts we sent to the capital returned not a moment ago. Our preparations are continuing apace, but I worry about sharing the field with the Byzantine troops. Hey, you know what? An ally's an ally. You're just gonna have to be cool about it, bro. I came here hoping to bring my aunt to live with me in the capital. As Frost's invasion took me by surprise, but life's been easier since. We can enjoy freedom of trade and no longer have to give offerings to the crown. It seems the people living in the crown city aren't suffering as much as I thought they'd be. Okay. Very nice. Okay, let's uh, try and take a different angle on the town real quick. Make sure we're not missing something. I think we got it all. All right, all right, back in. All right, so we're gonna make this decision in the next episode. So thank you all for being here. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Seventh Son, Louis D, Ivan K, Len, HLLJ, and Jordan and Emily Hill. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.